the winner of the last edition of the Vendée Globe, Vincent Rieu, chased by the man who could become the first person in history to win this race three times, Loic Perron. Rieu still holds the advantage, but Monday, May the 19th, started with him taking his foot off the gas. Concerned at the boat-breaking seas, he is back. But during Monday, the wind almost faded away. Loic Perron closed the gap. Uh, that's a warm ice gate. And right now there is no wind. Uh, I try to walk on the deck to catch uh, the small puppy somewhere. There is uh, still some sea, so it's uh, quite noisy. The boat is banging everywhere. But no wind, no wind at all, and uh, it's not hard to catch this uh, warmer size gate uh, I've ever seen. But this is not just a two horse race. Armand Leclerc on Brit Air and Jan Elias on Generali are within a few hours of the lead. By Tuesday morning, the leaders should be past the ice gate, leaving the warm waters of the Gulf Stream and heading for the cold, the Labrador Current. Expect them to take a long tack towards Halifax, Nova Scotia. They're racing for an appointment with the strongest winds in the race so far. Gale Force 8, 40 knots, in their face, Wednesday. In the class 40s, Giovanni Soldini on Telecom Italia leads. 60 miles behind though, six boats are within 20 miles. Check the leaderboard to see where the latest moves have been made in both the Class 40 and the Amoka 60.